Okay, I've lowered the motor back down, I've tightened the lock nut on the height adjustment stem, I've reconnected my electrical um, cord as well as my compressed air hose, and I will use a tall center fence plate because I'll fairly tall material here for my test joint. Make sure everything's good. This is a display molding. I will use a W1 60 millimeter or 2 and 3 8 inch long key for that. And now I'll set my key position here real quick. Routing height is adjusted with my routing height adjustment rod. It has a scale on it. You can also simply place the key right next to it and line it up. And on this digital model, of course, it's easier to just read it off the digital display. Hold down clamp, lower it all the way down, pull it back up just about a sixteenth of an inch, just enough so you can slide your molding in and out. And before you get started, safety glasses. Every time you use the machine, wear safety glasses, protect your eyes. Also, hearing protection is highly recommended. So we'll put those on. Slide this in. And here's my joint. Now if I if I would see that the joint is not tight enough, it doesn't draw it tight enough, I can now adjust my bit out a little bit towards me. If I drive the key in and I see some splitting and a huge gap to the left or to the right of the key, that means that the bit is sticking out too far and I need to back it off a little bit. But generally, uh, the factory setting as well as the digital gauge will get you where you need to be and uh, you know the test cut will prove that. But it's always good to make a test cut just to be absolutely certain. Now that we're good on our setting, the last thing to do is to install our new chip breaker and then we're good to go.